I remember mentioning that uh, facing the opponent defender head-on in a one-on-one -on -one situation on the wing is favorable. In this clip, I want to talk more in detail about body positioning by pelvic structure. There are many factors that affect dribbling, such as left stick control, alt control, reading or predicting the opponent's center of gravity shift. But one of the most basics is body positioning determined by pelvic structure. You don't need to delve into the gameplay with this crazy concept, but I hope this understanding of a pelvic structure concept can be helpful for dribbling and defending as well. Body structure means the time it takes for both the dribbler and the defender to make movements. Being aware of the body structure allows for predicting subsequent movements when you dribble or defend. And this body structure is determined by pelvic structure. Pelvic structure can open and at the same time close the opportunity for dribbling past the opponent when you surrender the football. Fenerbahce get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. And he's found a way past. Oh. De Jong! <laughs> Distance between the dribbler and the opponent is enough for the defender to catch up with the dribbler after he changes the dribbling direction. Dayong's body structure along with the movement direction makes it challenging to beat the opponent. The body structure influenced by the pelvic structure also hinders quick transition in backward direction. Dayong who needs to control the ball while running cannot outrun the opponent who moves freely with speed. One effective technique to offset the disadvantage of this body structure and buy time to make a stable structure is the finesse dribble. Furthermore, after making the preferable body structure, making the body structure open with side steps by finesse dribble enables the player to respond to the defender's movements and the dribble in various directions. Another function that can offset the uh, disadvantage of a body structure is body fainting. I'll talk about the uh, effectiveness of a body fainting later. Body positioning and movement direction determined by Dayong's pelvic structure make it more likely for Dayong to be dispossessed of the ball by the approaching opponent. Observing subtle changes in body structure may not be easy. However, by at least being aware of how body structure is made, specifically the pelvic structure and direction, you can respond to the positions and the movements of the surrounding opponents. This awareness allows for envisioning in which direction to shape the body structure, how to control in that direction, and in which direction to accelerate. When observing the opponent's body structure and anticipating his forward direction, if Dayong makes a direction change to his right, there is a possibility of skipping past the opponent. Normal direction change by left stick and alt 2 can take a little bit of more time as they involve shifting the body structure and depending on the player's dribbling related stats, the body structure may become unstable. However, finesse dribble can shorten this time and maintain a more stable body structure. In this case, Dayong's forward movement based on his body structure and the opponent's forward movement overlap at a certain point, increasing the likelihood of Dayong being dispossessed of the ball. With finesse dribble, a stable body structure is once again made and a confrontational situation with the opponent has been made. Moreover, it has created the possibility of a dribbling not only in one direction but also in both left and right directions. Dayong slightly adjusts his direction to confront the opponent head-on. Observing the opponent's body structure, it is evident that Dayong is in a more advantageous position. The opponent needs to change his body structure to respond, and this takes time. Dayong can capitalize on this by dribbling to the opponent's left.
If Dayun continues to advance, he is likely to be dispossessed of the ball by the defender attempting to block. However, Dayun's body structure is more stable in terms of a forward movement, while the opponent defender struggles to respond to Dayun's movements with his progression and the body structure unstable. Additionally, stabilizing the body structure to adapt to Dayong's movements takes time. The defender is in a significantly disadvantaged position in the battle against time. You can see the advantage of direction change by finesse dribble here. The body structure is being maintained stably towards the goal. Imagining the structure of the body, specifically the pelvic structure that forms the direction of the dribbler's movement and observing the opponent, you can begin to think of how to shape the body structure to dribble past the opponent. With it, you can practice speed variations and the direction changes to make dribbling more effective. In football, the body structure is fundamentally based on the pelvic structure. The direction in which the uh, pelvic structure is oriented influences the time it takes to change directions. Creating a new structure for direction change takes time, and it is the time that makes dribbling successful. The pelvic structure of the player you are controlling determines in which direction you can accelerate faster and in which direction it takes more or less time for turning. This kind of a concept also plays an important role in defending and the direction in which the pelvic structure is facing is more advantageous for speed. When you have to turn, it requires adjusting the pelvic structure, which takes time. The fact that it takes time means that the defender needs more time to respond to the opponent's dribbling, which increases the likelihood of being dribbled past. As such, it can be said that most of the movements in football are based on the understanding of the body positioning created by the pelvic structure. It is not perfect though in e football, but to some extent, this concept is applied. As I said, you don't need to delve into the gameplay with crazy concepts like this, but observing the movements of AI or players you control based on this understanding can enhance the enjoyment of dribbling and defending in e football. No more, no less. Oh, it's Bergkamp, driving through the middle. He's had a hit! Skill and strength, the sort of desire we hope will spread. Messi, he's shifting through the gears here. Can he finish? Expertly. No other outcome there. That was bang in the corner, unstoppable. Things starting to look very comfortable. The turning of the screw. Real chance! And it's paid off. 